Report, Washington Compost Issues Fate Poll, Overcounts Democrats by a Mile, They're Finished. In the Alabama race for Senate, a recent Washington Post poll claims that Democrat Doug Jones leads Republican Roy Moore 50 to 47 percent. Is it really a surprise that this turns out to be completely fake news? Here's the secret, there's a common trick used by liberals to try to dishearten conservative voters in order to get them to stay home but if you go to the bottom of any poll, you can find some very interesting details behind the numbers. For instance, this latest poll was loaded with questions about whether a 30-year-old should date a 16-year-old and other questions designed to stack the deck against Judge Roy Moore. But that's not all. Here is the party breakdown of the WAPO poll. Learn more about Revenue Stripe. Democrat 31% Republican 38% Independent 27% Other 3%. That's not even remotely close to the way voters in Alabama cast their ballots. Here are the 2016 presidential voting results for Alabama. As anyone with a pair of functioning eyeballs can clearly see, Trump homed Hillary by nearly 28%, not 7 points that's claimed in the WAPO poll. Now, let's check the primary votes for the Senate seat in Alabama. Republican primary results, 3, party candidate votes percent. Republican Roy Moore 164. 52,438.9%. Republican Luther Strange, incumbent, 138, 97,132.8%. Republican Mo Brooks 83, 28,719.7%. Republican Trip Pittman 29, 1,246.9%. Republican Randy Brinson 2, 9,780.6%. Republican Brian Peoples won, 5,790.4%. Republican Mary Maxwell won, 5,430.4%. Republican James Beretta won, 0780.3%. Republican Dom Gentile 3,030.1%. Republican Joseph Bro 2,520.1%. Total votes 423,282. 100.0%. Now, the Democrats. Democratic primary results, 3, party candidate votes percent. Democratic Doug Jones 109, 10,566.1%. Democratic Robert F. Kennedy Jr. 29, 21,517.7%. Democratic Michael Hansen 11, 1056.7%. Democratic Waboid 8, 0104.9%. Democratic Jason Fisher 3, 4782.1%. Democratic Brian McGee 1, 4500.9%. Democratic Charles Nana 1, 4040.9%. Democratic Van Caldwell 1. 2,390.8%. Total votes 165,006. 100.0%. That shows that the Republicans received more than double the number of votes than the Democrats. And lest you think that was merely a fluke, here are the runoff results. Party candidate votes percent. Republican Roy Moore 262,254.6%. Republican Luther Strange, incumbent, 218,066.45.4%. Total votes 480,270 100.0%. Republicans turned out in even greater numbers in the runoff than they did in the primary by more than 50,000 voters. So, what do you think about the compost poll? Good job, or fake news? And if you think WAPO used crooked numbers, Look at the liberal Fox poll that had Jones up by 8 points on November 16. The sampling they used was 51% Trump voters and 48% were Hillary voters. That's insane but to be expected from the newly liberal Fox News. From Breitbart According to its own methodological description, the Washington Post poll demonstrated how selectively respondents were moved into the likely voter category. This Washington Post-Shar School poll was conducted by telephone November 27-30, to 30th, 
2017, among a random sample of 1,304 adults in the state of Alabama, including landline and cell phone respondents. The error margin is 3.5 points among the sample of 1,110 registered voters and 4.5 points among the sample of 739 likely voters. Sampling, dating collection, and tabulation were conducted by Abt Associates of Cambridge, Mass. Real Clear Politics uses only four polls to reach their average. The WAPO poll is the only one that shows Jones winning. This is just another Jeff Bezos scam. He hates Trump and he uses the newspaper to trash him, yet who is it that always gets their hand caught in the cookie jar? The once mighty paper has been relegated to fake news and their credibility is subarctic. Fox News is in a race to try to catch the WAPO and perhaps surpass it if that's at all possible. Murdoch and his liberal offspring have ruined the once mighty news station. I don't know if he is looking up or down, but somewhere Roger Riles is smiling. We no longer have even one station we can trust. Trust.